Well, thanks to the quick and swift combination of the one-two punch of Hawkeye and Spider-Man No Way Home, Netflix has found themselves having another hit on their hands, which just so happens to be the show that they canceled some three years ago because petty rivalry. But yes, let's talk about Daredevil making the rounds as a top streamed show once again. I mean, if you really think about it, this is good for Netflix because more people watched their content and were sticking to the, um, you know, system they have in place there. But it's also really bad news for them because a week after Spider-Man No Way Home and Hawkeye, we start to get reports that Daredevil season one, two, and three were rising in the streaming charts. First getting into the top 50, then top 25, then top 10, and then upwards from there. Probably not going to crack the top three on Netflix, I would assume, but still, considering there's newer content on there, like Cobra Kai and the likes of Witcher season two, it's really not a surprise. But again, this is telling you that Hawkeye introducing the Kingpin and Spider-Man No Way Home bringing in Matt Murdock has ignited people's interest in these characters because, hey, it's continuity and canon. I personally have had at least a handful of people message me or ask me. So these are from the Netflix shows, right? They've never seen the Netflix shows because they just didn't care. They were all about the Marvel Studios movies and now the Marvel Studios TV shows. I told them yes. They've all been watching it. I've had one friend literally message me after every episode. He's watching one a day. He's like, oh my God, oh my God. He just wants to talk about it. There's a lot of people doing this. I know for a fact, my dad, after seeing what happens in Hawkeye, he went straight back to Daredevil and started watching it again. So this honestly isn't shocking. I know people in the CBC group that said they did the exact same thing. And in the long run, this is good for everybody involved, but not so much for Netflix. Now, let me explain. Yes, Netflix is getting the views right now from customers, probably existing ones. I doubt there's many new customers that are signing up just to watch the Netflix shows. But in the long run, people might fall in love with Daredevil and go, where, where is he appearing next? Oh, I guess I got to join Disney Plus if I want to keep up with this. So it's a it's good news for everybody, but really for Marvel Studios on this one, like they end up winning in the end by getting the actors back and everybody involved. And it's just awesome to see that more people are going to be watching Daredevil. Now, unfortunately, some of these people, they might go watch, you know, the other stuff. Let's hope they don't. Let's hope they don't. At least not most of it. Just, just stick with Daredevil. That's canon for now. Who knows what else will be? Probably not Iron Fist. <laughs> 